Shafkat Rachmanov is the first Kazakh fighter to sign a contract with the American Promotion Ultimate Fighting Championship. In his youth, he worked as a simple loader, but dreams of a championship belt made him train hard and go towards his goal, even when no one believed in him. By his example, he proved that everyone can achieve success, even those who were born and raised in difficult conditions. Watch this video until the end to find out how Shafkat Rachmanov lives, about his personal life and how much he earns. Well, before starting, like, subscribe to the DA Studio channel and click on the bell, let's go! The biography of Shafkat Rachmanov began on October 23, 1994 in Uzbekistan. The future fighter was born and raised in the Sirkandaria region of the country, in the city of Shirchi. His father is Kazakh, his mother is a Konyaratka. As a child, Shafkat showed a craving for competition. He was involved in various sports, from football to boxing, but even then he only liked to win. The future fighter, according to him, was brought up by the street, so he often fought, and he was not afraid to repulse the older guys. After watching the fights of Fedor Emelianenko and Mirko Filipovic, Shafkat decided to follow in their footsteps, but on the way to success he faced many trials. At the age of 16, the guy's family moved to Kazakhstan, where relatives lived. However, not everything went smoothly and easily. The Rachmanovs did not speak Kazakh and were forced to take on any job. To help his parents, Shafkat got a job as a simple loader at the market. In parallel he began to engage in combat sambo, boxing and pancration. Sometimes the guy was so tired at work that he could barely stand on his feet, but he still gathered his will into a fist and went to training. In his heart Shafkat cherished the dream of becoming a champion, although few believed in his success. At the age of 19, Shafkat moved to Kokshedu, where he began training with coach Bayan Zhangalov, and later entered the Faculty of Physical Culture and Sports at the Kokoshe Academy. The first results at the amateur level appeared immediately. In St. Petersburg, Rachmanov won the title of world champion in mixed martial arts, defeating the representative of Uzbekistan Akhledan Mirzadovlatov in the final. This was enough to attract the attention of the M1 Global Promotion, with whom Shafkat signed a contract in 2014. The welterweight fighter, height 185 centimeters, weight 77 kilograms, made me talk about himself after the very first competition. In his debut fight, he defeated Adam Sarav by submission. Rachmanov's streak of victories continued in subsequent years. He managed to impress all fans of the promotion with his bright fights, knocking out opponents over and over again. Since 2018, Shafkat began to combine performances with fights held by the Kazakhstan Federation of Mixed Martial Arts. In May of the same year, the athlete won the KZMMAF welterweight title, defeating Farid and Odilov by technical knockout. Six months later, Rachmanov had to defend the belt in a duel against Kyrgyzstani Renat Sayakbayev. The fight ended in just five minutes, the opponent of the current champion was knocked out. In March 2019, Shafkat won the vacant M1 global welterweight title. Three months later, Rachmanov had to defend the belt. The meeting with Chiago Varejao ended in the fifth minute with the victory of the Kazakhstani. The success of the invincible fighter aroused the interest of the most famous MMA promotion in the world, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. In 2019, Shafkat's dream came true when he signed a contract with an American organization. His first fight in the UFC was supposed to take place in March next year, but due to the coronavirus pandemic, the event was cancelled. Rachmanov's debut in the league took place in October 2020 as part of the UFC 254 tournament, which was held in Abu Dhabi. Alex Oliveira was picked up as a rival to the newcomer of the promotion. The fight took place at catchweight, as the Brazilian failed the control way in and was fined 20% of the fee in favor of the opponent. Shafkat's first fight in the league made a real sensation. He spent just over four minutes to win by guillotine. After a bright debut, a fighter from Kazakhstan challenged promotion legend Donald Cerrone, but the American did not react. Give me an American cowboy now. I know that I can fight him freely. He doesn't scare anything. I respect him. He is a very experienced fighter. We grew up and watched his fights, Rachmanov said. The second fight in the MMA promotion, a native of Uzbekistan, took place in June 2021. The duel against the Brazilian Michel Prazeris was easy for him. Two minutes after the start of the fight, Shafkat performed the rear choke technique. Thus, his record in the UFC became 2-0, and the overall 14-0. In early February 2022, the undefeated Kazakh fighter fought his third fight in the UFC, which took place in Las Vegas. Rachmanov's opponent was Carlston Harris. Shafkat, who was considered the favorite of the fight, won in the first round, 
inflicting a powerful kick to the opponent's body from a turn and finishing off. At the end of March 2022, Rachmanov, ranked 15th in the UFC rating, challenged Neil Magny, who was one of the top 10 fighters in the promotion. The American accepted the challenge, and the fight took place in the summer of that year. Shafkot was lucky again, he managed to carry out a chokehold. In addition, the athlete was awarded the performance of the night bonus. Shafkot Rachmanov does not advertise his personal life, so for many fans it was a surprise that he is now happily married. The wife gave him two children. The daughter's name is Jasmine, and the athlete does not disclose the name and gender of the second child. Rachmanov zealously protects his family from prying eyes, so he does not publish photos of his wife and heirs on social networks. Shafkot fought his 17th fight in his career and fifth within the UFC in March 2023. His opponent was Jeff Neal, who by that time was ranked 7th in the world rankings. The result of the fight made Rachmanov the promotion's record holder for the number of unbeaten fights. An important factor in the statistics of the fighter was due to the fact that he completed most of the fights ahead of schedule. The meeting with Neil was no exception, who admitted in an interview that it was the most difficult battle in his career. Shafkot spoke about his readiness to hold a title fight, and also expressed a desire to meet in the octagon with Colby Covington. Friends, how do you feel about Shafkot and who is cooler than Shafkot or Kamzat Chimaev? Write in the comments. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. We are interested, have a nice day everyone.